Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as always, pretty much here, and welcome to episode 8, I believe it is, of Minecraft, and welcome back to our little, our little humble abode, um, you can see some things have changed, um, this is Enterprise Glowstone, if you actually go into it, you get, uh, come on, uh, speed and jump boost, which is pretty nifty, um, you'll notice that I have this giant thing here, this is a smeltery, I, I need I need better tools pretty much and this is how I'm getting it so I've already made um, some stuff I messed up and you know wasted another entire video and so we need to oh god I hate that I do that every time I need <laughs> I accidentally if you know how it works I accidentally combined um, my cobalt and ardite into Manulium and Ardite and Cobalt are what I need separately. <laughs> I am making an excavator. This stuff will be good for later on, I believe. Um, and we got two more after these guys. Okay, so I only needed one Cobalt, but uh, I already made my Obsidian uh, tool rod. And I'm not going super deep into this because there are so many Let's Plays of how to do this stuff. I actually can't use this. I need... Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, I need to make... Oh, here's a bunch of tools or uh, workstations that you need to use this thing. Here is a bed drawer with all my books. Very useful. What I need. I need some wood, and this last one, and it's a normal crafting table. And let's just go ahead and make like eight. There we go. So what you have to do is you have to make these patterns, put them into the stencil table, find whatever pattern you want. In this case, I need a not that one. But this one, a tough tool binding, is what I do with these two. And then I need to make them out of... I think I'm doing this right. I need to make them out of some kind of stone. I think it... I'm not sure if it has to be smooth stone, but... Oop, not that. Get that out of here. Tool station part builder there we go put this guy in put this guy in there got this and then oh yeah let's see is that in here and then i got this and then i got this so we are now done with these and then i guess i won't need that do i need let me get this book again materials and you I need to check real quick because I am making a X no a hammer I need a tough rod <sighs> stop no nope. like I need to make one more so that's a normal rod is that the tough rod nope come on tough rod tough rod there we go that's what I need I think I have one thought I had one of those tool rod. I guess not. Okay. Well, now I do. I'll put this guy in. And put this guy in. How many do I need? I have tool rod. Oh, there we go. Is this? Okay, this is three, so that's not too bad. Okay. So now that I have this, I need to make it a normal cast. Um. out of gold so let's just throw all of my gold in take it all I guess I am kind of showing you the process um, so what it does is it takes fuel or lava which I have right here and what I do is I just um, whenever these run out I just grab go into the nether to the lava lake pop them both down um, this stuff I think is working pretty good everything seems to be working all right um, 
This thing also doubles ores too, so that's something to keep in mind. So I need to make a cast of all of these because when I go to make it at this tool forge, hammer. Oh, I don't need the tough binding. I don't need the tough binding. Uh, oh, I was looking at the, uh, the excavator. Okay, so I just need two large plates. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll make a binding anyways. There we go. And then we click on which one we want and it moves it down to the bottom. And then we pour. And now we have these and now we need these. So pretty much you've seen what I've done and then I'm gonna be using I need to look into how to specifically make um, some of this other stuff. So, as far as building the hammer goes, but you kind of get the idea. Um, I put in, let's say, I need a one of these, a pick head. Uh, I pick whatever material I want. I pour it in, and then I put them into this part, and then you add. These are for additional enchantments essentially and then you just put it all together add some enchantments and you make a really sick pickaxe and that kind of stuff so I'll show you what it's like when I'm all done don't want to it's been done so many times I don't want to waste your guys' time with it pretty much so yeah um, pretty much with <laughs> with the next little segment I will have my tool and I will be digging out areas for a bunch of other stuff and then we'll start working with some other stuff so yeah fun stuff 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 okay so it's been a little while since the last cut and there's a lot to go over so i use my handy dandy book oh my god endermen are so annoying holy crap let's see let's see how many are in right here as four. I mean, it is raining, so that makes a little bit of sense. But even during the day, it's it's so bad um, because of the just all the crap. Uh, I'll have to show you guys maybe when it's done rain raining. Excuse me. Um, so I finished the hammer. It is. If you're wondering the materials, it is uh, ardite for the for the rod um, cobalt for the hammer head cobalt for one of the large uh, plates paper for one of the plates and so far I have put three sets of haste on it so it is very fast um, yeah that's like as fast as a normal pick would break that plot that block but I break nine with it so pretty amazing um, what else have I done uh, there's the sorting system I moved that over here um, I did change it up a little bit using not using the hopper system I didn't really like having to stand around and wait this I can be like okay I want uh, I want some plastic cement and I can go and walk over and do whatever. Um, this guy's been going diligently. I don't have enough to hit level 30, but I've just been enchanting books and move the enchanting table over and oh, my plastic's here. And then if I put stuff in, instantly go. Don't have to wait for the hopper to pull the things out. Um, so here's the sorting system room that I made, and I made this all with the hammer and like, well I didn't like make this with the hammer, but like I cleared this space with the hammer in maybe like two minutes. Crazy. Um, I'm going to put teleporters, or not teleporters, elevators right here. Um, 
to move up and down so I can avoid bat form a little bit more and yeah that's pretty much it the only difference is I added a priority list so when it decides to fill stuff up it will fill it up um, this chest is priority one two three four and then over here it's five six seven eight and then nine ten eleven twelve and so forth and this is how the guys get in they step in that poison shit or they step in some normal water or they walk into those thorn bushes fuck this guy I didn't even look at him uh, and all sorts of stuff and then they just dump it in but yeah uh, priority list goes to the right then to the left and then next one up to the right to the left um, so yeah I'm getting I'm getting kind of close to having my chest full uh, where are we at Really, spider? Man, this is not a good weapon. Yeah. Ugh, fuck. But yeah, so I have two chests left that are actually set up to be used. I'm, I might die. I need to be careful. I uh, need to get me some. Oh shit! Oh man. That was not cool. I'm digging a dog. Let's try to get to spawn. There we go. I don't think you can teleport here. Let me just, uh, I don't know if this works on that one. Let's find out. Nope. Ah, so we need to set up a food system, and I'm going to be using Mine Factory Reloaded. And. Why is it? Is it actually night? Okay, I can make it not night. Gonna be using Mine Factory Loaded and be bringing in a bunch of animals. Hopefully, just need to figure out a way to bring in the animals, and then we'll be set to go. Break this guy. So I'm going to get all the materials needed for all of that, and then we'll make the machines and. Um, and then we'll start to set them up, and hopefully we can get that all done in this episode. What else did I have? Uh, yeah, this time, just trying to get a food system set up, and that food system will actually double for um, a lot of other things that I would like. Um, because this power system isn't really doing what I want it to do. It's not, it's just not enough, pretty much. I mean, there's plenty of power in there, but it's not doing what I want. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make all these and then I will be back. Okay, so I think I have the things that I need. The first thing that we're going to be making is a breeder. Oop, I need to make this stuff into gold. So I need golden apple and some golden carrots. There we go. Breeder got purple dye, reception reception coil, machine frame, that stuff, and there we go. Breeder, awesome possum. Um, next up, we need a chronotyper. Now this will separate um, whatever I put into my pens by age. Um, and then we need a slaughterhouse, and for that, I need to make a bunch of tools. I need uh, two swords and two axes. So two swords and two axes. And then I also need an invar gear, which is a piece of iron with invar on each one of these. There we go. So now we can make the slaughterhouse. What am I missing? Invar, 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 Invar. That, that, got the plastic. Yeah, it's just one of those funky ones. And then the last thing I need, I need to make this, is a meat packager. Ooh, I do not have a flint and steel. Flint and steel. 
several already made, luckily. I don't know why I made these pistons. I thought I needed them for something. Um, <coughs> I don't know. Okay. Meat packager. Is this another one of the... Probably. Oh, it's like, nope, I can't make that because for... It registers the advanced machine block or something for whatever reason. There's my plastic and meat packager. So these are the four machines that we'll be using. Um, because I could do it a, a different route, but this will uh, unify all of the animals that I get. So um, I don't know where I want to build this really. I might build it. Oops, I forgot it was not a bat. I might build it because I don't want it too close to the place because there's no sound mufflers in in this mod pack. So there's going to be a lot of noise and crying animals and stuff. And as much as I enjoy hearing it, I'm sure you viewers don't. So I'm going to kill this Enderman and sleep away the night. Make him teleport away. Bastards. I hate him. I hate him. Where? I don't see no monsters. I'm gonna take my bed downstairs. So I'm okay. Probably down here. Oop. Uh, where can I put this? I'll just throw it right here. Apparently there aren't monsters nearby. I can hear them. Okay, so... Oh my god. I hate them. I hate them. Into bat form. Like, seriously. Just come inside, you little prick. <laughs> Uh, that's the worst noise too, the stupid angry noise. Um, and of course you can't turn sounds off in this pack. Is that guy angry at me now? Yeah. Definitely need to get a lot more torches going on in here. I heard him. Did he port in here? Pink. Pink. Uh Okay, so I'm going to find a place to set this up. I might dig out like a, a tunnel or something somewhere down below this. I guess I can show you guys how fast this goes. Dink, 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 dink. Um, doesn't work on gravel or other shoveled goods. So that's, that's one downside to it. I guess I could do it... Uh, here somewhere. I hear you, spider, wherever the fuck you are. So. Yeah, it's fast and amazing. I look out up to me, you little prick. They're the worst. Not as bad as Endermen. Endermen are annoying. These guys aren't too bad. They don't spawn as often. So I might just make it down over here, because this is pretty far away from wherever the current location. So, some deep dark hole where they hate their lives. I don't know how I'm going to get animals down here. I need to find that out. How am I going to get these guys down here? Is there is there a block that can pick up animals? Oh, there is. There's the safari net. Okay, I'm, f I'm fine. Safari net will... Move them over. Oh, we slow going at the start, but... Okay, so I'm going to clear out this area some more, and then I'll be back. I'm going to find you, and I'm going to kill you, you motherfucking spiders. Okay. So here's the room for the animal process... Oh, thank you. I needed that. For the animal processing plant, you can see that it's not actually set up yet but this is the room I think this is the size I'm gonna go with obviously I'm gonna change the roof and all that kind of stuff 
Um, and the way it's going to work is I guess I can set up one of these, kind of. Um, the only thing I still need to do is clear out below um, and do 3x3 three three passages down here because it actually is going to require a lot of, like, room. So... Three by three passages this low. Um, yeah, it's going to take up a lot of room down here because of the pipes and that kind of stuff. Um, so, let me set up one of these guys. At least the machines and how it's going to work. Um, this is actually going to go a little bit farther down because. What's going to happen is we're going to have adults here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have the adults in each one of these. No, maybe I'll have the baby animals so we can see their suffering first. Yeah. So we'll have the adults and the ones on the outside. And I'll have, let's see, um, I'll be using sheep, pigs, cows and one other animal I haven't decided which one yet but I will have them and then what happens is so here we have some adults we have a breeder hooked up somewhere and it will breed them and then it will suck the baby animal out into this one right and then when the baby animal grows it will I haven't decided if it's going to suck out the adult animal and process him somewhere else. Um, you don't want to, as doing some testing in a test world, and you don't want to try to force baby animals to move around because they'll all group up because they, they try to stay with their adult, right? So they'll all continue to move towards their, their adults so if you try to like shuffle them around during that then it doesn't work so well um especially with like the conveyor belts and stuff it's really glitchy so then either i might have i can do either the slaughterhouses right here and do a slaughterhouse for each one and then have the liquid pipe like go down and wherever and then into the meat packager or i'm leaning more towards this because it's you know supposed to be like a fucked up area um shipping the animals down through conveyor belts or water streams or whatever and kind of make a show of it through like glass planes and stuff so that's kind of the idea and i will continue working on that diligently and it's the main thing is just clearing out the space even with the hammer because it's you get a lot of these stupid things a lot and so even with that, it takes a bit of time. Um, but this is this should be about the size of the room. I might do. Huh. Yeah, this should be about the size of the room. I can uh, extend this out more, and make it just like a mob, uh, utility uh, facility, further out, and put uh, the auto spawners to spawn other stuff. So. Um, I would like to get the first one set up and do it the first way I was saying, just uh, killing the animals as soon as they grow up, um, just so I can get some food, because I am almost out. So, let's go ahead and do that. One of the biggest issues that I want to have is piping the power down. Well, it won't be that big of an issue, but, like, one of the, the problems I foresee is getting the power I don't think I have that many. Okay, let's get all this stuff, because that's all I need. And then, what do I need? Um, I also need to set up a planter and a harvester and a fertilizer, which the fertilizer will get powered. So the whole system is going to be, so we have a bunch of these planters, right? They plant stuff, and then, oh, fucking A. We plant stuff with the planter. It fertilizes with fertilizer that we make 
using the compost of all of the adult animals that we have chilling around. And then the fertilizer grows the plants. The plants get harvested and go into bio generators. And that's how we are going to generate our power. And at the same time, that will... It's, it's an effective way because we're not only getting... Um, the animal sewage and stuff, but we're using that animal sewage to also feed ourselves. So maybe I'm making this a little too big. Maybe, maybe this doesn't need to be for animals, but I only plan on having like six animals per pen at the start because I don't want it to be too crowded for them. I'm kind of being nice about it for whatever freaking reason, but, um, that's the goal. I'm going to continue clearing this area out, prettying it up, and... Oh, no. I said I was going to set this up, didn't I? Okay. So, look at this motherfucker. Where did he even come from? Kill your ass. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go ahead. Uh, no. I should... I should go adults here. Well... Yeah, I should go adults here, and then that way I can ship out the, once the animals grow, I can ship them out through the walls or something. Do like a glass area as they move forward and come over here to their doom. Yeah, there we go. That'd be pretty cool. I, m I might even make it go up uh, above later on, but okay, so we want, I think we want a breeder right here. out and then these guys back so this will breed animals every 10 minutes or it will try to breed a animal every 10 minutes and then right here is going to be the chronotyper all right and then this will push the baby animals out this way and then I need to kind of cage them in like that. Um, and they will hang out here until they get pushed back. So I might have to make it. Can I upgrade? It does not look like I can upgrade these guys. Damn. God, Enderman noises are so fucking annoying. I hate them. Okay, so it's going to breed them, and then it's going to take out the babies, and then put the babies in here. I might add... I don't know how I should do this. Hmm. I think I'll use a fan. So let's look up how to make a fan. This might be the end of the episode. I think we're pretty close once I finish making this, so... Um, let's go ahead and make one of those. Well, let's, let's set up Slaughterhouse and the Meat Packager. And we'll just set these guys right here for now. Uh, definitely not permanent positions. So, Slaughterhouse. Right here. And then Meat Packager right on top of it. Set that guy up. And then... Oh, crap. Oh, I'll have to put a, uh, I'll have to chop this stuff up, but, okay, let's head down this way, where are we at right here, this is right next to here, so let's clear this out of the way, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook up the wires, make the fan, and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, and I'm aware that I think we're at about 29 minutes, so we're over time, but... Uh, I think I believe I have everything ready. So here's the fan to push the piglets out. And uh, I don't know how I feel about it uh, pushing them for that long. But oh well. Um, let's go ahead and fill this up. And we should see them breed. Reader. Right. Idle time go. Almost there. Okay. Breed. 
No, I know that pigs use carrots to breed, but I thought that this could use any anything. Huh. Um I don't have any carrots. Hmm. Okay, let me go find some cows. Okay, so I got the cowsies and let's go ahead and put the wheat seeds in here. On work. Okay, so they breed. They breeded. And... Oh, I think it's getting pushed out. It's getting pushed out. But it's still glitching, so this is still an issue. I might just use water and put like a little itty bitty piece of... Um, yeah, I don't know how I want to do that. Hmm. Well, I need to figure out a way to get this less less glitchy. Um, I can go get another cow. Well, this one will grow up. I'll turn off the power and then I'll move them over. I want to make sure that this works. So that kills them. And then it went into the meat packer. You see that it worked. And now I have a meat ingot. And these alone do two, and when you cook them, I think they do four. So, that is all for today. Sorry for the ridiculously long episode. Should be about 32 minutes. Um, but until next time, guys, I'm going to work diligently on getting all this set up. Um, and we can work on the showcase next episode and getting power next episode. And hopefully fixing some of these issues that we have down here. So, until then, thank you so much for watching. Please go rate, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.